Let's go over today how to easily make intuitive uh, hand grips in SolidWorks. Um, the first thing that I can do is open up a part and let's go on to uh, the right plane and I'm going to create a sketch on that plane and I'm going to say tools, sketch tools, sketch picture and choose a picture. I've chosen a picture of a basic hand grip. Um, with sketch picture, you want to scale your picture to be the dimension that you want. But since this is a demonstration, I'm skipping that sketch for the interest of time. You just make a, you know, like an overall height that you want your grip to be, and uh, make that into a sketch, and then you know, change the picture size to match the height of the sketch that you made. Uh, so simple stuff. I'm going to make my origin as centered as I can. Let's go to full image and change the transparency down to something like 75. And let's exit the sketch. Now I'm going to sketch on the top plane. Notice I have a very similar origin. And hopefully I center my origin enough that uh, the circle that I drew takes the widest part here and the widest part from there. And it looks like that will be perfectly acceptable. Uh, there's a, a number of ways to do this next part. I'm going to cheat, make this for reference, and fix this, right? So normally you want to fully constrain your sketch, but again, in this demonstration, I'm not here to bore anybody. There's also a number of ways to do this next part. I'm going to use a midpoint line and another spline. You can also use oval, but I seem to get less errors when I use a spline for some reason. Let's go with uh, control 8 to get normal to the sketch. We're going to make this for construction. Grab another spline. I'll start here and go reference this very top point of the circle. This side point here, this point here, and that point there. And notice the, the uh, spline becomes quite normal and we get a very nice oval shape. Again, that's just uh, generic for our handle. Let's exit that. Next, let's make a, some sketches on the right plane. Our first sketch will be, hopefully, quite easy. Uh, I want this arc to start on vertical, so I highlight one endpoint and make its rotation horizontal to the endpoint. And that seems to be a pretty good fit, but um, I want to be on that spline, so we'll pierce. Again, uh, Control-8 to get normal. Let's follow that curvature. That seems pretty good, as with all sketch pictures, some proximity will do. Now, I'm going to ignore this little shelf. I mean, I could put it in if I really wanted to, but uh, this is fine. We'll grab this arc center and again make it horizontal so we know that this arc is ending on a vertical. And that will do. Again, fully constrain this. If it's any kind of product, you have no business not fully constraining any of these sketches, but as for a demonstration purpose, it's nice when someone runs through relatively quick so you can get the information fast. Uh, I'm going to just see how good I am at tracing around the grips on this handle. There we go. That should do. Now I can start to adjust and better fit. I like this also to pierce the spline that I made. And I'll take my tangent handle and make it, whoops, vertical rather. Let's try that one more time, vertical. And I can begin uh, constraining. And not hard constraining, just making it match visually. Right? And I can do that by simple tangent handle adjustments. That looks like a great tangent handle there. Um, okay, perfect. So we may need a fit spline here. I'll explain that in a moment. First thing, let's ask ourselves, can we make this directly into a solid? In many cases, the answer is yes. In this case, I have doubts, but let's try it. We'll move this profile along this path in a sweep, and I can specify a guide curve here. And nope, 
doesn't look like it's going to go. Uh, you can try to loft it in a solid, right? So if I loft uh, that profile and my guide curves are here and here, yep, no good. So what we'll do is surfaces. I like boundary. Boundary is very stable. We'll take this profile. Let's go in this direction. You can see we've got a surface going. Now I can choose this profile. And there we have a handle. So we've got a surfaced handle that we'll have to convert to solid. And this turned out very nicely. Sometimes these grips might be going at abruptly the wrong angle. And if that's the case, um, you can come into here to sketch. That's because, you know, all the grips might be wanting to go to the straight line instead of evenly dispersed uh, between these elements. But what you can do to help smooth that out and get a more predictable result is uh, go to both sketches, right? Both of the sketches that we made. Tools, uh, spline tools, fit spline. We're just going to fit a spline over that. And that converts uh, our sketch into a single element. And I think I want to show you one other setting. Uh, tools, spline tools, fit spline. And you can say delete geometry. And then you've replaced all of your sketch with a spline. And now you have a single element. Do that to both sketches, this finger grip sketch as well as this other sketch. And, uh, and that will smooth things out quite a lot and hopefully give you a more predictable result. Uh, next thing that we would have benefit in doing, perhaps I can grab my right plane again and choose a sketch on it. Um, this may get some unpredictable results, but it's also a nice way of doing things. We'll exit the sketch, and I'm going to say features, uh, actually surfaces, Let's go with trim surface. Standard trim is fine for what we're doing. We have our sketch highlighted as our trim tool. I've clicked on this with keep selection selected, and we've trimmed off the top of that. And uh, it, uh, that could be a problem there because I want to fill this up. And if I choose filled surface, oh, that's not bad actually. That's really good. Boom. That's easy. And fill surface, that looks good too. All right, so I've got uh, three surface bodies. And you can come up here and say, oh, there's one, there's another, and there's another surface body. Uh, I want to add fillets on here so that I can maintain the, the organic geometry without sharp edges. And uh, to do that, I'm going to uh, highlight these three with the control key, or just from the graphics display area. And I'll choose knit surface and uh, make sure merge entities is checked. I'm not going to create a solid yet. I mean, you could and just fill it a solid, but I think it's good form to work in surfaces here. Highlight this edge and maybe this edge. And on the surfaces uh, tab, we're going to add a fillet. Notice the fillet's both sides quite nicely, maybe a, a one inch fillet. And of course, this handle is a little bit larger because we didn't scale our initial sketch. So this would be too big for a human hand. But that's, uh, that's looking to be kind of a nice, handy, ergonomic-ish handle. Right? It looks pretty good. Uh, so now, with all of these being a single surface body, and you notice you have surface bodies one, then I'm going to go to Thicken. And I can choose this, and I just click Create Solid from Enclosed Volume. And now we're solid. Right? We've made a solid handle. And so I can hide my uh, pistol grip sketch. And if I do a section view, you can see we're solid all the way through. And so you can add you know, any threaded components or whatever you want to uh, interface this handle with something. But that's a, that's a pretty easy, sharp way of making a handle. So with this handle, let's go through making another method of making a handle. And this is kind of a fun way of doing it. Um, let's go with the front plane. We'll create a sketch. And uh, I want to make a three-point arc that is kind of oriented like a smiley. And make that vertical. And we'll make this, uh, what's a good handle width? Maybe five inches wide. And 
Maybe I can make the minimum radius something like one inch. Yeah, that would fit your hand pretty well. And this will probably finish it off if I give it a max radius. 1.5 is just fine. I guess we still have, oh, we better make the center vertical and then we should be good to go. And now let's go with, uh, actually, I need to make a center line. That's better. Vertical, okay. So highlight the center line features, actually surfaces, uh, revolve surface. Boom, beautiful. Next, let's uh, go on to the right plane sketch. I'm going to create, you know, it, it'd be better if I did a three point arc. Something like that. I can make the center, uh, center line vertical just like that. And uh, I'll, I could fully constrain the rest of this, but again, for the interest of time, let's go with uh, surfaces, extruded surface mid-plane, and I can even say, well, I guess you don't have a through-all option with mid-plane, but we know our handle width is 5 inches, so there's our 5-inch surface there. And then let's go with uh, features, circular pattern, how about? Um, I can choose this circle as our direction. And uh, I'm going to do this as a body, right? We're doing the surface body. Let's go with five features. And there we go. Next thing we can do is maybe a mutual trim. So we'll go back on the surfaces, trim surface. We're going to choose mutual instead of standard. And our surfaces, maybe I can just box select everything. And let's say remove selections. And so when I click in this box, now I can remove there. And it looks like we've actually removed everything. So once you remove everything that you want to, um, I'm not seeing an option to merge these surfaces. And so we have six separate surface bodies, right? So I'm just going to control A. We're going to go to knit surface. We're going to merge entities, and we can do with or without gap control either way. Uh, I guess Control A didn't select the surfaces, so let me select the uh, elements of my grip. That's better. And we'll merge. We're having a knit issue, and I think I know what's going on. Let's go back to our uh, surface trim. I think I need to get rid of these elements here, right? Get rid of the inside. Now we should be able to knit. Let's go with the knit surface. I'm going to Oh, but these are already knitted together. So, looks like um, looks like we have a single surface body now, and that's what we want. Finally, We'll go to surfaces fillet because it's really nice when these have smooth ergonomic faces. You know, you don't want to be gripping a hard edge all day. And let's go with something like a half inch radius, maybe three quarters. We do, yeah, 0.75. That looks pretty good. Boom. So. Uh, actually, just choose one edge, surfaces, filled surface, filled surface. If we look at our surface bodies, this is a body, that's a body, that's a body. Uh, let's go to knit surfaces. And from my tree, uh, I can open up my surface bodies folder, select these three bodies, and we want to merge them together. And now we have one surface body. Uh, let's go with fillet on the surfaces tab here. And make a nice smooth fillet. We can lessen that up a little bit, maybe 0.25. There you go. So that's like a you know, just something that has some raised parts that will catch your fingers if you grab onto it. 
Uh, so we'll go there. With this body highlighted, we can go to thicken and again create solid from the closed volume. And there's another handle that we've got. Uh, so just some different surfacing methods to create stuff that you can hold on to pretty well. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.